Hey, this is Rocket Brain Surgeon, and we're looking at bombs on Japanese planes. Craig Crenson messages me, and he says, Hey, why don't you use bombs on the Japanese planes? I see that you're trying them out. Uh, give it a whirl. And my first thought is, well, there's only one bomb, so what are you supposed to do? Getting one ground target really isn't going to help in the Supremacy War. And he has videos, and I watched a video, and it wasn't bombing ground targets, he was bombing ground attack aircraft. So this is my first game, I know I have to lead the GA, so I lead it, I throw the bomb, and I'm just like, whatever, it's gonna work or it's not, and oh my god, it works! So I'm just kind of having an epiphany right now as I'm flying back to the battle, it's like, okay, how can I use this? And the GA in game goes, holy crap, because how often does that happen where you get bombed as a GA, right? And I'm just trying to think, of like, okay, what are the benefits? What's the pros and cons to this? Well, the, the benefit is you eliminate a plane very quickly, and once you've dropped the bomb, the Japanese plane is still going to outturn everything else. That's not a big deal. Uh, the, the harness of the bomb does not affect the plane's characteristics too terribly much. The downsides are that maybe the GA isn't going to be there. Sometimes there's not a lot of GA on the map. Sometimes they don't go for your base right away, they'll hang back and they'll go later so you'll be hanging around your base for not a whole lot of reasons. Uh, the other thing is, what if you miss, now you're just kind of stuck with this GA at low altitude, probably where the battle isn't happening and maybe the battle is drifted away from you and in the, the Japanese planes aren't there very fast so maybe it takes you a while to get back to the battle, so on and so on and so forth. But I think it's an, an interesting area to uh, investigate. I don't think it's too terribly bad from a game theory perspective. Uh, it was definitely entertaining to do. The blast radius on the bomb is 100 meters, so you do have quite a bit of leeway on your attack run. Now, the downsides again, like what if you miss, say, an IL-8 or whatnot? and now you're just kind of stuck at low altitude with a plane where you can't attack because its tail gunner is going to chew through you. I think that's a real downside. But the upside is so huge. Not only do you protect potentially several ground targets from the GA, but you eliminate the GA so your teammates are free to do other things. There are a lot of times where I attack someone that three plus other people are attacking because they're not making a lot of progress and I want them in another area of the map so I know that yeah it's gonna take me less than five seconds to take the guy out and now my teammates will float to more important points of the battle and that's another thing that killing the GA early does instead of people fumbling around attacking this low altitude aircraft in their jets which they should not be uh, then they can do other things. but So, I'm not quite sure what the right answer is. I'm actually going to keep on using bombs for the Japanese aircraft, because it's fun so far. And, um, yeah, I'm going to... Oh, one last thing. If there's no GA to bomb, just drop the bomb and go dogfight as normal. Hope you enjoyed. Happy hunting.